Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets. I'm breaking down a bite-sized piece. So today I got a lot to go over, and uh, it really just starts with Cardano. So Ethereum tokens are going to be able to be migrated to Cardano with an ERC20 converter. I'm just going to show you just exactly how easy it is. Uh, the first uh, project to do uh, will be Singularity.net, and those are the ones that are all are responsible for artificial intelligence, the ones that built uh, Sophia. And then also, we're going to take a look at the Cardano ecosystem, take a look at the products that are coming out. Uh, so hopefully, we can get into some of those projects. And uh, we'll do all that. But first, let's take a look at what is going on with the market. So today, it is uh, the 18th, and um, we've got market cap of 2.07 trillion so it's been a wild ride the last two weeks because of one guy tweeting also just so you know the united states just had to uh, fill out all their tax forms and pay yesterday was the last day and when people say uh this should already be done aren't people like uh, super proactive <laughs> no people are lazy and uh i can tell you every way to the last minute because uh for crypto trader tax this is just me talking um yesterday was the largest day for referrals for CryptoTrader.tax, which is a software for uh, uh, calculating your your uh, your crypto taxes, and uh, I was surprised. Actually, I reached out to CryptoTrader, and they said, "Yes, uh, this is our biggest day too, which is the last day." So just so you know, people who wait the last day, those are the ones that have to fill out their forms and pay taxes. Where do they get money? Usually, uh, if they're in cryptocurrency, they just take it out of the out of the crypto market because it's liquid 24/7, 365. And uh, that is it. The people that have already filed their taxes, those are the ones that get money back. Uh, and then people who have to pay, they wait till the last minute, kind of like me. And that's just how it is. So what do we got today? Well, Bitcoin's at 44, a little bit of a rebound. Ethereum's up a little bit uh, over the last uh, time frame. 5% for XRP, congratulations. There's a big one. Matic jumped up 114% in seven days, 20% in uh, 24 hours. Layer 2 solution, that could really help Ethereum with their gas fees, so hopefully that works out great. And then Aave, the DeFi platform. So just as you uh, might may or may not know, uh, we, I sent out a tweet yesterday, a couple of days ago, actually a week ago, which said, buy the dip. And we always talk about buy the dip, right? The question is, did you buy the dip or did you just talk about buying the dip? And everybody likes to talk about it, but you have to really have those that mentality like, hey, it's not that everything's you know uh, going on the tubes it's just that i'm getting these fantastic sales i gotta buy it up because as time goes on it's gonna be worth more and it hurts to to take it out of your your account and transfer it in but sometimes you just have to do it that is not financial advice it's financial opinion that is what i do and i bought a ton of crypto in the last couple of weeks way more than uh, usually dollar cost average but because things are just that's the price so you gotta remember some things first of all there's a thing called stock to flow. I know a lot of people hear about it, but the question is, what is it? I just want to go over that real quick. And just so you know, the stock to flow model, it's predicting $100,000 uh, for this year. And uh, this little gray line here, the realized black lines is 200 uh, moving average. And then the, this is the actual price in these dots here. Just so you know, uh, the price is still well above what the stock to flow is on top of what we think it actually will do. Let me blow this up which is $100,000. And this, this model, some people don't really agree with it, but a lot of people do. And Forbes talks about how accurate this model has actually been, and it's been the most accurate so far. So um, it's just good to know. And then uh, the guy that created it, just so you know, is Plan B. Uh, Dutchman in his 40s, degrees in law and economics, spent the last 25 years in traditional finance. He didn't create it. Uh, but he, what he did, he, uh, he applied the metric to create a price prediction that ties the value of an asset to its current uh, stock to flow ratio. And just so you know, stock to flow, yeah, you divide the current stock of a commodity by an, an annual production. And the example they give, let me pull this up, is gold. Right now there's 185,000 uh, tons of gold. That is, the, that is the current stock. And the flow is what we take out or what is being produced. That's 3,000 tons per year. So you divide those two numbers, and it'll take you 62 years to get to the to, to the current uh, rates or the current amount. And the same thing goes goes true with uh, with Bitcoin. The total stock is 18.6 million, give or take. And uh, because we had a having last last May, the issuance schedule is 328,500 per year. That gives a uh, stock to flow of 56.6. So that's 
maybe just use this model to kind of come out. And just so you know, uh, it's not totally accurate. Uh, there's a thousand copycats. There's, a th there's four, five, six thousand different cryptocurrencies out there. It really comes down to demand. And right now, there's a lot of institutions that have that demand. It has been reduced thanks to uh, our buddy Elon. But uh, hey, what are you going to do? And uh, I still think it's going to be, I still think we're going to hit 130,000 this year. That's my conservative number, somewhere between 130,000 and 150,000. And we'll just go with that. So uh, this has been the most accurate so far. So uh, we'll see. But I do think there's a lot of fireworks coming. All right. So that's what's, that's that. Let's get to something that's, uh, I guess you can call it groundbreaking. So Ethereum tokens are easily migrated to Cardano. And um, I know I talk about Cardano a lot, but uh, there's a lot of things going on with it. I mean, Ethereum, if they would, you know, talk more about their E2.0 launch and, and uh, give me some concrete dates, I'd cover them all day long. Uh, and I'd also cover all the different things that are really going on. But I think right now, this one has the most buzz and the most potential. Not what it is, but what it could be. And people always say, well, who's building on it? Where's the smart contracts? It doesn't have those yet. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't. So uh, these things are coming. Uh, they're coming in around August. And uh, we'll see what the fireworks are at that point. All right. So what is happening here? So this was from a blog post that they just put out. Yeah, that is up. And here's what's going on. The upcoming, that's the key word, upcoming, not happening right now. Ethereum to Cardano migration tool will be accessible for organizations and individuals. When I talk about this tool, it's an ERC20 converter. And actually, let me just let me just show you exactly what it is. This was a video that was created. I'm going to uh, double up the speed. I'm going to mute it and just talk about it because uh, if you, it's it's a little slow. So everybody's got some time, right? So you connect a wallet, and these these are all the all, all the accounts that you have in your MetaMask wallet or whatever else. But see right here, all you got to do is just say this is the balance of my Ethereum ERC20 convert uh, tokens. Now I'm going to convert it to Cardano, and then whatever it is. You just press convert, press confirm, <laughs> then you wait a little bit, and then you wait for it, even on double speed. Well, that was like 10 seconds. I'm just impatient. But you see where I'm getting that? That's how easy it is. That's the year 20 converter. That's all. So that's pretty much the whole story right there. Uh, but this is, uh, here's the quote. Uh, from IOHK. Uh, ERC20 Converter Testnet is now in the final stages of quality assurance testing before the public launch. The stage will allow us to test the user journey and improve their experience along with fixing any occurring issues. I know what people are going to say, Ugh, Cardano, and IOHK, and all their testing, just rule it out already. Well, let me remind you what happened when uh, a lot of different testing wasn't done for certain D5 projects. A lot of people lost a lot of money. So this isn't some wacky project out there that's just like, you know, going to lose a couple of million bucks, which is still a lot of money. Let's just, let's just call a spade a spade. But they're like, look, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of money on the line. A lot of people's futures are on the line. We just want to make sure that this is correct before we roll it out. And to me, it's kind of like the FDA, right? I don't get, I don't want to hear a bunch of comments about how the FDA is like evil and rules the world. I do not care about those. What I care about is that people actually do the due diligence and the testing before they rule things out. Because if not, you, uh, you know, you break a lot of people. I know some people say, well, you gotta, you gotta break some eggs to make a few omelets. Yeah, we'll tell that to the person who just lost their life savings. Okay, so that's it. So I'm glad they're doing the testing. I can wait a little bit. I'm not impatient, that's just me. Anyway, so IG developers announced that the AGI token of Singular Net will be the first to fork through the converted dashboard. New asset will have an AJAX ticker and that's the big thing. So what I was like, what's Singularity? I've heard of it. Singularity.net, it's for uh, AI productions, and it's just that scale. So you can do a lot of different things with AI, and if you're a developer, this, I think, is a great platform. So you can create your own organization, manage from within one environment, monetize your service, and blah, 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 all that great stuff. And then just so, as a reminder, they're, they're the ones that built uh, Sophia. That's uh, AI robots, which is uh, scary to me. I think AI personally is scary, but... I will tell you that there's uh, two things that will rule the world in the next 20 years or so. It's the people or the group or the country or the organization 
that really hammers home uh, AI and gets it all figured out and controls it massively. And the next one is blockchain. If you have a country, an organization, a group that controls both those things or has the uh, leading advantage, you will dominate this world. And that's just uh, how I see it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments section about that little piece. Let's move on just to talk about the ecosystem and what I want to do. So this is the Canada ecosystem. I posted a ton on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at News Asset. And the, all the different things that we'd really like to see to blow up. And I think this is where, remember Binance Coin? <laughs> How well that did just because on a decentralized exchange? Well, that's coming very quickly when these smart platforms roll out in August. So if you don't think, uh, if you think Cardano is a scam, you don't really like it, that's fine. You don't have to invest into it. Like I think personally, a lot of things are different scams out there and people are, are really not doing their, their work. I think that's very few these days, but I think it's out there. I, Cardano, I just don't see that as one of them. So you're going to see, and this is where the rubber meets the road. If things don't happen for Cardano this year, then I will pull a Nova Gratz and hang up my spurs and not talk about them. But I do think it's a, it's a pretty great thing. And here's what they have. They got all different types of uh, decentralized exchanges. They got a launch pad called Card Starter. Or actually, you know what? Let me just show you. Let me just switch over do all these things I want to cover. And what I want to do is digital asset news is just for news, but for more of the advanced things, that's why I created digital asset news clips. And what I'm going to do over the next, well, actually, hopefully I do a couple one here in Puerto Rico. Uh, but what I really want to do is go over all the different projects that I find fascinating. And uh, just, you know, here in Puerto Rico, going to meet with the lawyers in like another hour or so. I'll go, I'll, I'll do that video talking about legal ramifications, uh, real estate agents, uh, CPAs, and of course, people who live here. I'll put it all in a nice little package. But uh, I'm going to go over things like uh, Indigo. And Indigo, uh, this is uh, for synthetic assets. So you can you know trade all these different things that are real world. There's a, um, a lending platform called Liquid. I'm going to go over a thing called Tesseract, which goes over Web3 dApps. I want to go over uh, Block Frost, which is all for an API integration. Sunday Swap, which is the centralized exchange. Also want to go over PolySwap and there's another DEX. Need to go over uh, Card Starter, which is just like Poker Starter, which is just the launch pad for all the different things that are coming out and it's insured. And then uh, the big one, I think, could be big, Charlie 3, which is the um, uh, Oracle, kind of like Chainlink, but it's built specifically uh, on the Cardano network. And then uh, bringing up the rear Cody, which uh, I've already bought some already. I think it's going to be great for uh, payments as far as on the crown of blockchain. Look, payments are like going to be pennies instead of uh, gas fee crazy. So, we'll, and then it, it's not like you need a, a ton of different layer solutions. And then uh, this is the, the dark horse insuro, which is uh, underwriting for insurance products. And then there is one that just came out, uh, Giro Wallet. I think it's Giro or Euro. Euro, I don't know. Giro Wallet. It's all about decentralized finance. And this one looks pretty amazing. Uh, first of all, it's built on Cardano and the tokenomics, it's only 500 million supply. They've already released it. I think it was yesterday and let's just pull up CoinGecko, just see what, let's see if it's even listed. Not even, I mean, it's listed, but it doesn't even have a rank. It's so low. Jesus. It's already up, uh, almost to a dollar and it went from nothing. Well, 48 cents, I guess, from yesterday. Because it's only one release yesterday, all the way up to a buck. And before you ask me where it is, just go to CoinGecko. See where it says CL Trading Pairs? Just click on that big green button, and it'll tell you every place you can get it. And right now, you can only get on Uniswap. This is how we really are. The 24-hour volume is only 128 million. So uh, you can get it. You just got to pay a lot of gas. But uh, that's for the ballers out there. And uh, I might not. I don't think I'm going to do this one. I should, but I'm not. But uh, it looks, hey, decentralized finance right on your phone. Already got uh, things moving, 500 million. And uh, I think this is the year for Cardano. So I'll go over the, all those and I'll put that um, in Dan Clips because I think that's uh, the best place for it. And um, we've actually taken a look already at a couple of good projects. One of those is uh, World Mobile Token. And this is this one's pretty cool because they're going to do two things. It's infrastructure where they're going to put in these th th this mesh network for uh, solar panels for electricity. They're going to be able to have telecommunications and Wi-Fi. 
And of course, that is the infrastructure layer. The second layer is, of course, building um, digital ID. This is the one where they partnered up with Cardano. Their native token will be built on Cardano, and uh, this will also allow them to, to pay for services, uh, insurance, education, and finance, uh, all in Sub-Saharan Africa, to people who don't have uh, these types of services. And that is a uh, four billion person industry because people can't get these. And it's a trillion dollar industry. And it's why uh, I'm excited about this one. Now, full disclosure, I have not bought any because I can't get any right now, which sucks because I'm in America. That is what it is. Actually, nobody can. They haven't opened it up. But uh, when this becomes available, I will get into this. I get to do two things. I, I get to do good and do well. So uh, slam dunk for me. All right. So uh, that's it. If you want to watch that, the video that I did about that, um, it's over on Dan Clips. You can look in the description. It says follow Dan. and There's a link to Dan Clips. And if you just can't figure that out or just don't know, you know how to do that, just go to YouTube. Because YouTube really is a search engine. Not to insult anybody's intelligence. But if you go Dan... If I can type Dan Clips. Uh, oh, wrong one. It, it, click on Dan Clips. Uh, this guy will come up. That's not me. But if you scroll down, uh, you'll see me somewhere. Maybe a here, maybe a there, whatever that is. Digital Asset News Clips. Or just put that in, whatever you want to do. So look, that is it for today. Um, I think these are exciting times. Uh, again, whatever project you're into, great, go for that. Uh, I just think I see a lot of upside with, uh, with Cardano right now. And uh, we'll see. So thanks for sticking with me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about are time sensitive, uh, especially with these projects coming up. And uh, that is it. So I uh, appreciate you coming by. I'll see you on the next one.